Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We're so glad you're here. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. All right, a very special show today. Help, yes, help for families with allergies. As we devote the entire program to helping you breathe easier, literally and figuratively, within your home. That's right. We're going to address asthma and allergies, which, by the way, Julie, strike one in every four Americans, and that includes my husband. I believe it, and me and my daughter. There you go. Then we have some practical solutions on keeping your home allergen-free with two trusted names in the industry. It's a trusted show with great information coming up. The Balancing Act starts right now. Stay with us. If you're sneezing and wheezing this morning, you're probably one of the millions of Americans suffering from asthma and allergies. Now, every year, listen to this, we spend billions, yes, billions on cleaning products to try to make our homes healthier. So, why are you still sneezing and wheezing? Oh, the reason may be right under your nose. So today, we're going to tell you why your house may be making you sick and help you get rid of those household allergens and irritants. Our resident guru, Michelle Kazalia, is here to get us started. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Well, I first should say Happy Allergy Awareness Month, right? Yes, May. Very important to say that. Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month, absolutely. Because one in four Americans are dealing with asthma and allergies. That's one in three households across America. And that would be me because my daughter, Danny, she suffered from asthma when she was younger. And I got to tell you, with the coughing and the wheezing, I mean, we had to change air ducts. Oh, wow. air, we did a lot in the house to make her comfortable. Wow. And Good. let me ask you this, because uh, a lot of people ask me, so Danny has asthma, yet my son has allergies. What's the difference? Asthma is a lung disease, which can make it hard to breathe. Allergies is an immune disease, which can cause problems with your nasal passages and with your lungs. Now tell me what are the symptoms, let's say, for asthma and allergy, and I'm going to assume they're both very dangerous. Yes, they both can be severe and deadly. Some of the symptoms of allergies can be a runny nose, watery eyes, scratchy throat, coughing, and asthma can be heavy breathing, chronic coughing, wheezing. And I know last time you came, you shared your story about your son, and yes. I know that he suffers from food allergens. So I, I know that there's certain foods that can trigger it, but there are also, and I've heard this before, non-food triggers that can cause an allergy or asthma attack, right? Yes. What are those? Correct. Asthma and allergies can be triggered by allergens and irritants lurking in your home. They might <sighs> be out in the open, or they may be hidden. It depends. And what about all the household cleaning products that we spend so much money on? Do they work? Are they helping? Well, Americans do spend over $10 billion on products and services. $10 billion. Yes, and it amazes me because these products and services claim to be allergy and asthma free. Don't tell me they're not. Well, there's been no scientific proven claim and no government regulation on many of these products and services. So we could be buying these products as I have many times, and contributing more to the problem. Correct. Ave Maria. Correct. So how does one know then what to get for their daughter or for their husband or for anyone that's suffering from uh, asthma or allergy? Well, their first stop should be to go to the Asthma Allergy Foundation of America. Okay. Tell me about that. It's aafa.org, afa.org. It's an amazing website, has many wonderful resources. It is the largest and oldest nonprofit charity patient organization in the world. So when one goes there, it, it will walk me through and tell me what I need to get and what I can be sure of that will help the situation as opposed to exacerbate the situation? Yes, actually, AFA, Asthma Allergy Foundation of America, and the top medical doctors back in 2006 came together to create a guide, a program, so you as a consumer empowered and you know when you go to buy a product or service that has the certified seal, you know that you are definitely getting a product or service that has been certified allergy asthma friendly. So that can kind of give me peace of mind that I know this is what I need. Yes, you know that it's been proven rigorous testing in a scientific lab. And that includes things like vacuum cleaners, filters, not just, you know, products that you use to clean the house, everything and anything? Cleaning products portable air filters, 
pillow encasements, oh. mattress pad encasements. You know, when you go to buy a certified allergy asthma pillow encasement, you know that you are getting a product that is true. Great information. Thank if you. I had known you maybe, let's see, seven years ago when I had all that wheezing going on, I would have known all this. Yes. And I wouldn't have spent so much money. Thank you so much. I know you're coming back this week for I more am. tips. Great. I am. Always love to have you. Thank you, my dear. And of course, meantime, head over to that website, aafa.org, or our website, thebalancingact.com, for all great information there. And coming up next, as promised, we've got some of these great home products that are certified asthma and allergy friendly, and we're going to show them to you. So don't go anywhere. Did you know asthma and allergies strike one out of five Americans? With a 100% increase over the past 20 years, 60% of U.S. households are affected by asthma and allergies. Common indoor allergens are pet dander, dust mite feces, and mold spores, most of which are present year-round. Eight of 10 people in the United States are exposed to house dust mites. Six out of 10 are exposed to cat or dog dander. Help for Families with Allergies, presented by Stanley Steamer. Now that we know more about allergies and how they can affect our home environment, it is time to talk solutions, especially when it comes to one of the biggest culprits, our carpets. And here to start the conversation on how you can create a healthier home environment is Justin Bates, president of Stanley Steamer International and industry leader in the carpet cleaning business. It is so great to have you here, mm -hmm. Justin. Thank you, Jill. It's great to be here. All right, your company has earned a pretty impressive certification, and I want you to tell me about that. Well, after years of testing, we are the first service company certified asthma and allergy friendly by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. That's so great. You know, I think Stanley Steamer and your yellow vans, but most people really don't know that it's your technology that drives your success. What makes you guys different? Well, we are unique because we manufacture all of our own carpet cleaning equipment in Columbus, Ohio. Wow. So one thing that AFA really liked was that of all of our 3,000 vans traveling around the country today, they're all manufactured in the same place to the same specs to provide consistent service to everyone. And once again, we remind viewers that AFA is the organization that goes around and certifies people that are great with dealing with allergies and asthma, and you guys are amazingly certified. Now, Justin, you brought in a little cleaning project today. Actually, you cleaned this rug. It was so dirty. This is not our usual balancing act rug, but this was filthy, and you brought in one of your best technicians. Dave, come on in here. Came in from Philadelphia. So great to have you really on the nice show. Time. So great. Now this was awful. And you came in, you've got to tell me a little bit about this process and what you did today. We cleaned it a little earlier. Yeah, well, we used our signature equipment that we manufactured back in Columbus, uh, truck mounted equipment. Uh, we brought it in, we pre-treated the carpet. Uh, we used uh, our special spot removers to pre-treat all the spots and spills. The truck heats the water to 180 degrees. Uh, we use chemicals that are pet friendly, kid friendly, safe, uh, but at the same time, uh, they do a great job. Uh, we got very dramatic results on the carpet. It looked good, came up clean. I can see the dirt coming out right now. It's just, you're getting it all out. It's all coming out, <laughs> it's all coming out. Now this is a little bit of a reunion for you guys because you're gonna be on Designing Spaces. We look forward to that. And you, what? tell me what you did. You, you took a whole house and, and you really transformed it. Yes, about a couple days ago, we were out at a home uh, for designing spaces, and there was a new homeowner, and the new homeowner's children had allergies and asthma and were allergic to pets. Oh. The previous owner had pets, so we came in, we cleaned the carpet, we cleaned the upholstery, we even cleaned the tile and grout, and we color sealed the tile and grout and completely changed the look of the room. Oh, they must love that. And Dave, I know that when you come into a place, I mean, it must give you such a sense of pride to come in there and be able to really recreate a home environment for somebody. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of our customers uh, use this on a pretty recurring basis. Uh, they recommend every three to four uh, months to have us come out and, and people that have kids that suffer from asthma and allergies, they're, they're always calling us and, and they, they really feel uh, a difference after we leave. You know, they, they, they just, the home feels healthier, it really does, and cleaner. Our cleaning process uh, was found by AFA to remove on average 94% of common household allergen triggers. Wow. So we, we got all of that out, and today, you know, they're feeling much better in there. It's feeling like a healthier home, a healthier environment, and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, there's less suffering going on. 
every couple of months is really the ideal situation if you really want to keep your home clear of all those allergens, right? Yeah, that's what's recommended. Every, every three to four months, uh, have us come in, uh, do uh, a hot water deep clean, um, and then also just regular maintenance. Uh, you know, make sure you have a certified vacuum two to three times per week. You know, make sure you run that. Don't forget about your furniture. You know, uh, vacuum the furniture as well. I mean, that's another big filter in your home. Great. And Justin, from you, president of the company, and I hear it's a family-owned company for many, many, many years. What are your final thoughts? You know, we've talked a lot about the equipment and the process, but what really makes it work are the people. Our professionally trained technicians have all been drug tested and background checked, and we're very proud of them. So Justin, how can viewers schedule a cleaning and get more information? Well, it's easy. They can either go to stanleysteamer.com okay. and schedule online, Oh, okay. Online. or they can call 1-800-STEAMER. Thank you so much for being on the show. I learned something. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit better about in that three to four month period, but you were great. Thanks for cleaning our carpet today. Sure, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> great to have you. All right, if you'd like to find out more about today's asthma and allergy special segments and the benefits of keeping your home allergy free, visit us at thebalancingact.com and stay with us because I'm coming back with another everyday solution to keeping your home ship shape and allergy free. Some household tips. Place certified allergen barrier bedding on your mattress and pillows. Wash your bedding at least once a week in 130 degree hot water to kill mites and their eggs. Replace pillows every one to two years. Keep household humidity below 50% to avoid mold, a common trigger. Fix leaky pipes and cracks to reduce standing puddles of moisture where mold can prosper. We've shared some great professional allergen solutions this morning. Now let's talk about another important way to help reduce and control allergens and airborne particles. And joining us is Joy Petty, Director of Marketing for Maytag Vacuums. It is so great to have you with us, Joy, this morning. Oh, well, thanks. I'm excited to be here. You know, Joy, right off the bat, can a vacuum truly make a difference, not just getting dirt, but getting allergens out? Absolutely. Not all vacuums are created equal. So it's important for allergy and asthma sufferers to really pay attention to what vacuum they're using. Well, in the green room, you referred to the rugs and the carpets being like a giant filter. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Sure. When you think about pet hair and dust mites and all those other yucky things you don't really yeah, want to think about, yucky. if they're dropping to this, your flooring surface, if you have bare floors, they're going to be kicked back up into the breathing area of your home when, you're, when they get recirculated when somebody walks through the room. But if you have carpets, instead, the, all those dirty, dusty allergens get trapped into the carpet fibers and are held onto when somebody walks back through that room. But you can't just replace your carpet as though you're changing the no, filter. You can't. Instead, you just have to clean it with a high-performance vacuum. Wonderful. Now, earlier you, you gave us a demo. I want to take a look at that so our viewers can see and explain exactly what's happening in this demo. Sure. Well, what makes the M1200 unique and different than anything out there is the fact that it has two motors working for both suction and agitation. So let's start by just taking a look at what an ordinary vacuum does with suction. And then, if you take a look here, we'll show you what the difference is when you have suction and agitation working together. Oh, I can totally see the difference. Just bubbling up through the yeah. carpet. We say all the time that it creates like a mini earthquake with that agitation to bring everything up to the surface and then the suction motor can sweep it away. I see it right before my eyes. Now, talk a little bit about the feature that makes the Maytag different, especially that stretch hose that you were talking about. Sure. Well, you know, irritants can be high or low. Just think about those dusty ceiling fan blades. Oh, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's easy to get to them with your Maytag M1200. You can just take the stretch hose and it gives you 17 feet of cleaning reach. Yeah. Yeah, that's really important to think high and low. And when it comes to removing allergens with a vacuum, what's the most important thing that a vacuum should accomplish? Well, first of all, you need a really powerful vacuum to get all of that stuff out of the carpet, but that's only half the story because you don't want it just out of your carpet, you want it out of your home. Absolutely. And so if you think of emptying a bagless vacuum, you're coughing, you're sneezing, you have watery eyes, all of that. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't seem to keep you real safe from all those irritants you were trying to get out of your home. So instead, the Maytag uses a self-sealing Wow. Poof proof bag that as you remove it from the vacuum, everything's trapped inside so you don't have to come in contact with the dirt. It also leads to a much cleaner vacuum. 
I brought my M1200 from home that I've been using for over a year. Okay, did you bring that on the plane with you? I did. <laughs> I flew down with my very own Maytag. And I've got a house full of kids and pets. And you would never know that I've been using this vacuum for over a year because wow. it's still clean in here and as good as the day I got it. That is really cool. Thanks okay, let's talk about the filter. A lot of manufacturers claim to have that HEPA media filter, but there's differences, right? Absolutely. A HEPA filter is a good start, but it needs to be part of a sealed system because otherwise the air can blow around that mm -hmm. filter and spew dirty air back into your house. But if all the air path is closed, everything has to go through the HEPA filter and only filtered clean air is returned to your home. So that's really an important feature, right? Absolutely. If you have asthma and asthma and allergies, you need to look for that. Okay, fantastic. And for those seeking more information and they want to know where to find you, where can our viewers go? You can go to MaytagVacuums.com or you can find us on Facebook. All right, such a great segment, great information, and, and you really educated us. Thank you for coming in, Joy. It was great. Thanks for having me, and happy uh, vacuuming. Happy <laughs> vacuuming. If you'd like more information about how to help control those nasty allergens in your life, you can also visit us at thebalancingact.com or clean up your act by getting a little bit social. Log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. Well, hopefully we can all breathe a little easier now. I can. There you go. Thanks to the great information on today's show. Remember to check out our website, thebalancingact.com. You can find lots more there as well. We're also on Twitter yes, and Facebook. Are. Follow us, like us, tweet us. Absolutely. And until <laughs> next time, remember, find your balance. So long, everybody. Help for Families with Allergies, presented by Stanley Steamer.